Good evening, everybody. It's your girl, Dasha Dasha Pace. I'm coming to you this evening with another video. I am going to be making beef tips with brown gravy. Yes, stay tuned. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So, here's my beef tips. I gotta rinse my hands off. Okay, just adjust my clothes. Okay, that's my beef tips. I'm gonna use some cayenne pepper. I have just a little bit left. I'm gonna use some black pepper, some garlic powder, some accent, some Worcestershire sauce, and some Lipton um, onion gravy mix, or however you wanna call it. All right, I already got my pot going. It's nice and hot. This here is my beef. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my seasonings in it. I'm gonna add my cayenne pepper, just a little bit. There's not much left in here. See? Yeah, it's not much left. Add my garlic powder. A little bit of accent. You can use hot sauce if you would like. I just got this little bit of cayenne pepper left in this container, so I'm trying to use it up and get it out of the way. And here is some Worcestershire sauce, a Worcestershire sauce. Ooh, I thought it was open, y'all. Okay, I had some bell peppers already cut up. Just a few. This is what was left. I got some green and some orange that's left in my refrigerator. So, we're going to mix this up with our hands. So this flavor, I get down in this meat. And we're gonna fry this. I already got my pot on, or my skillet on with some grease. Let me get the flour. Okay, I got some regular store-bought flour, all-purpose flour. We're gonna put some in here. That looks like that should be enough. And we want to coat our beef and our veggies. We want to coat it just like that. Okay. And I'm going to leave my seasonings out just in case if I need to add some more to my liking. All right. Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to move y'all a little bit closer so y'all can see. Okay. You hear that sizzle? I might have to move the camera on the other side. You want to drop this beef down into this grease. And what we're trying to do now is try to brown it. gonna brown it. Let me wash my hands. I'm gonna put some, add some water. And I used that bowl because I had the seasonings and everything in it. That's all. I'm just trying to get all my seasonings out of it. Some. 
Y'all stay tuned while I adjust this camera. Okay, y'all. My bag of flour had a hole in it. I was like, where are this um, flour keep coming from? See, it's got a hole in it. Okay, as y'all can see, so I had to turn my meat down while I was cleaning up the flour. I have flour. I still got, I think I got flour on me still. I don't know. All right. So that's what my heat tips are looking like. And we don't want to cook them fast because we don't want them tough. So with that being said, I'm going to turn it down to about a four and a half to a five. Let me see what my tastes like. You need some more salt. Definitely. But I really didn't put salt. What do you, do you consider accent salt? 60% less sodium than salt. So I guess. I'm going to add some more Worcestershire sauce. And some black pepper. And at this time, I'm going to go on and add in my Lipton soup mix. I guess. Onion soup mix is what I'm adding to it, y'all. Okay, let me stir it up. So I'm going to add a, a tad bit of water as well. Just a little bit. Okay, you see how my color is coming along? Oh, yeah. Okay, let me add a little bit of water. A little bit. Now I'm gonna add my onions. It's just was this is not even a half an onion. It might be, because this onion was kind of big. So I'm gonna add my onions on top. You don't have to add as many as I did. It's too big. I need to cut it. Be all right. All right. Y'all stay tuned. Be back with y'all once it's done. Or close to it being done. Okay, y'all. Dinner is done. And until next time, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and share button. Have a pleasant evening. Good night.